Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a sliding menu bar for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here we can see we have this uh, text platforms written over here. And if I click on this, we can see we have a sliding menu bar over here and all the content of the web page moves down. And if I click on this once again, it goes back. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so here I have created this folder called sliding mini bar and I just opened it with VS Code. So let's go ahead and create the necessary files. I'll just go over here and click on new file and let's create an HTML file. So I'll just type index.html and we also need to have a CSS file. So I'll just click on new file and let's name it style.css and we'll also have a JavaScript file. So I'll just name it main.js. So let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. Alright, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Alright, let's start by creating some content. So I'll just type content. And in that, we'll have some paragraph. So I'll just type P and press tab and we will have some random text over here. So I'll just type lorem and uh, 30. And if I press tab, we can see that we have 30 words of random text. So I'll just copy this and uh, paste it two more times. All right, now let's start with the sliding menu bar. So let's create a division with the class of sliding menu container. And in that we will have a nav and we'll give it a class of sliding menu. And in that we will have an unordered list. So I'll just type ul. And in that we'll have list items and in the list items we will have anchor tags for the menus. So for the first menu we have Android. I'll just copy this and paste it three more times. And next we have iOS. And uh, then we have PC. And then we have PlayStation. Right now we also need to have a main menu item. So when you click on that, we want to display all these menu items. So outside this nav, let's create a division. And we'll give it a class of main menu item. Now in this we need to have an icon. So if we go back to our design, here we can see we have this icon displayed over here. So for the icon, we will use hero icons. So let's search for hero icons. So you can just Google for hero icons and you'll find this website heroicons.com and let's search for up and here we can see we have a lot of icons. I'll just select this one and uh, click on copy SVG and let's go back to our VS code and uh, let's paste it over here. And then we need to have a text which is platforms. So after this SVG I will just type platforms. All right, now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So you can just install this. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see that our design is displayed over here in the browser. Now let's go ahead and style this using CSS. All right, so let's go to our style.css file. And uh, first of all, let's uh, target the content. So I'll just type dot .content. And... Uh, Let's give it a font family of Roboto. And we'll also set a max width of 700 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center. So I'll just have margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And we also need to have a top margin. So here we can see this content has a top margin over here because of this element right here. So let's add a margin top. So I'll just have margin top and we will set a margin top of 120 pixels and uh, let's set the line height to 2 and uh, we'll also set the color of the text to 333. Three, three. Alright, that's it with the content. Now let's style the sliding menu container. So here we can see we have this division with the class of sliding menu container. So let's style that. So here I'll just type sliding menu container. And uh, let's set the position to fixed. And we'll set the right position to zero and also the left position to zero so that it will have full width. And I'll also set the font family to Roboto. 
and sans serif. Now let's go ahead and change the size of this icon. So I'll just type sliding menu container. And in that we have a division with the class of menu item. It's main menu item. So let's target that main menu item. And in that we have the SVG. So I'll just type SVG. And let's set the height of the SVG to 20 pixels. And now we can see that the height of the icon has changed. Now here we'll also set the top position to zero so that it will be at the top. All right now let's style the unordered list. So here we can see inside the nav we have this unordered list. So we have a class of slide menu for nav. I'll just change this to sliding menu. All right let's go back and uh, let's go to our CSS and let's target that. So I'll just type sliding menu container, sliding menu. And in that we have the UL. Now we want these list items to be displayed one next to the other. So here we can see all these menu items are displayed one next to the other. So let's style that. For that we can just set the display to flex. And now we can see all these list items are displayed one next to the other. And we'll also remove the bullets. So I'll just type list style and I'll just set it to none. And we'll also have some gap between the list items. So I'll just type gap. And we'll set a gap of 48 pixels. And we'll also bring it to the center. So I'll just type justify content and uh, center. And we have some padding over here on the left. So I'll just type padding and set it to zero. All right, now let's style these anchor tags. So in our list item, we have the anchor tags. So let's style that. So here I'll just type sliding menu container, sliding menu, and A for anchor tag. And first of all, let's remove the underline. So I'll just type text decoration and set it to none. And let's set the font size to 16 pixels. And we'll also make it uppercase. So I'll just type text transform uppercase. And uh, let's set the color of the text to, I think we have white color. So let's set the color of the text to white. And now we can see that the text is not being displayed. So for that we have to add a background color. So let's target the nav which is sliding menu. So here I'll just type sliding menu container sliding menu and uh, we will give it a background color of linear gradient and we'll set the direction to top and uh, the first color we will have is 235C64 and then the next color we will have is 203A43 and then the last color we have is 0F2027 and let's save this and let's add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and we will have a max width and we'll set it to 1000 pixels and we'll also have a border radius so I'll just have border radius and we will have 0, 0 for top left and top right. And for the bottom, we will have 8 pixels of border radius. Now we can see we have these uh, rounded corners. Now the next thing we will do is we will have this horror effect. So when you hover over this, we can see that we have this underline under this text. So let's style that. Now for the underline, we will use an after selector. So I'll just type sliding menu container, sliding menu, a colon colon after. And let's set the content to blank. Now we need to position this after selector relative to this anchor tag. So here I'll just type position relative. And uh, here we'll just type position absolute. And let's set the bottom position to negative 8 pixels. And we'll set the left position to 0. And the width to 0 by default. And when we hover over this, we will increase the width to 100%. And let's set the height to 2 pixels and we'll set the background color to white. And we'll also add a transition so that we'll have smooth animation. So I'll just have transition and all to 300 milliseconds ease. Right now let's add the hover. So I'll just have sliding menu container, sliding menu, a colon hover, colon colon after. And let's set the width to 100%. Now let's test it out. So let's hover over this. And we can see we have this uh, underline. All right, now let's style this main menu item. 
So for that, we have a class of main menu item. So let's go back and let's type sliding menu container main menu item and uh, we will set a background color of this color right here and we'll set a padding of 2 pixels top 48 pixels right and 16 pixels bottom and 48 pixels left and let's set a max width of let's say 200 pixels and we'll set the text align to center I think we can decrease the width a little bit so I'll just set it to 100 pixels right now let's set the color of the text to white and let's set the font weight to bold and let's set the text transform to uppercase and let's bring it to the center so I'll just have margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right now let's add some border radius so I'll just have border radius and uh, for top left and top right we will have 0 and for the bottom we will have 60% and 60% Alright, that's it with the main menu item. Now the next thing we will do is uh, we will have this uh, menu item hidden by default. So let's scroll up and let's go to the sliding menu container. And here by default we will have a top set to some negative value. So if you right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, if you hover over this sliding menu, we can see that it has a height of 67 pixels. So we will move it 67 pixels to the top. So I'll just tap negative 67. And now when we click on this, we want to bring it down. So for that, we will create a class. So let's tap sliding menu container dot active. And when we have the active class, we will set the top back to zero. And we'll also add a smooth transition. So I'll just tap transition. And I'll just set it to all 500 milliseconds ease. Now when we bring this menu item down, we also want to bring this content down. So let's scroll up and here we can see we have the styles for the content. Right now we have set a margin top of 120 pixels. Now we need to move it down 67 pixels. So for that we'll also create a class for the content. So I'll just tap content and uh, we'll create a class called move down. And uh, we will have a margin top of 120 pixels plus 67 which is 187 pixels. And we'll also have a smooth transition for this. So I'll just tap all 500 milliseconds ease. All right, now the last thing we need to do is add and remove the class using JavaScript. So we need to reference some of these elements from the HTML. So we need to reference the content because we need to add the move down class. And we also need to reference the sliding menu container because we need to add the active class. And we also need to reference this main menu item because when we click on this, we need to add the class. So let's go to our main.js file and let's reference all of this so let's type const main menu item and we set it to document query selector sliding menu container main menu item and next we will reference the sliding menu container so I'll just type sliding menu container and we'll set it equal to document dot query selector and sliding menu container and then we'll reference the content. So I'll just type content document dot query selector content. All right now let's add an event listener to this main menu item. So let's type main menu item dot add event listener and we'll listen for the click event and let's create a function over here. Now here we need to add and remove the classes to sliding menu container and content. So let's type sliding menu container dot class list dot toggle and we'll add a class called active. And for the content, we'll type class list dot toggle. And we need to add a class called move down. Now what happens with toggle is that if it has a class of active, then it will remove it. But if it doesn't have a class of active, then it will add it. The same goes with uh, this class over here. All right, now let's test it out. So let's click on this button. And now we can see that the menu is displayed over here. And even the content moves down. And if I click on this once again, it goes back. Now we'll also add a cursor of pointer over here when you hover over this. So let's go back to the styler CSS file. And uh, for the main menu item, we just type cursor pointer. Now when you hover over this, we have this pointer. And we'll also add an animation to this icon. So here we can see we have this animation. So for that, let's go to the SVG. So we have added some styles for the SVG over here. 
it is right here and here we'll type animation and we'll create an animation called bounce anim and we'll play the animation for 600 milliseconds and we'll type alternate for the direction and uh, we'll also set it for infinite amount of times right now let's create this animation so I'll just type add keyframes and for the name I'll just type bounce anim and here we just need to type 2 for the last frame and here I'll just type transform translate y and we'll set it to negative 4 pixels right now let's save this and now we can see we have this animation for this icon and if I click on this everything works all right so that's basically how you add a sliding menu bar for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so you can go ahead and download it and use it in your websites. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.